So I got the list in, cultivate her up to the shop. We're gonna call her Lily for short because that's a hell of a lot easier to say than Williston. Um, first step, well, I guess I'll let you in on what I'm doing first. So we're gonna use this, hopefully to put on cover crops. There's a fellow on Facebook named Jason Mock and he's doing some really cool stuff. But I don't wanna wear out a drill trying to put cover crops in because drills are expensive to rebuild and I'm cheap and there's really no reason to waste that on a crop that you're not going to harvest. So my thought was put these straight. These are just spider wheels and uh, run like a, oh, I'm thinking I'll either use a John Deere fertilizer box like off a of John Deere 7000 planter or a gandy air seeder and mount it somewhere in here and just have six or seven drops and take the tube and drop it down here these will just kind of flick the dirt and mix it up and these shields will hide the seed from going where the soybeans or corn will get planted next year my thought process is if we're only putting the rye into strips we won't have the bad effects like your hair pinning or your soil not drying out as good in the row it's kind of going to be a really a biological strip till and i haven't done it yet so i don't know if it's going to work but in theory it should work very well so we'll have 15 inches of rye and a gap with nothing and then 15 inches of rye and a gap with nothing and that will allow us to one build organic matter with the rye two slow erosion but not have the bad effects that you get with having rye completely across your field. So the steps I'm going to take now are taking the shovels off because my goal is not to work a lot of dirt. It's kind of just to flick the dirt. So we're taking these off and then these blades up front, I plan on leaving the duels on just for no other reason than I think it looks cool, really. Um, either take these off or reverse them and have the blade back here because these do help stabilize the side to side movement because when you lift it up it's going to dig into your uh, tire so I'm going to turn those around and take these off and I pour diesel on these bearings but this bad boy has been sitting for about 10 years so um, yeah I don't think any of them are going to move and I'll get to put a whole bunch of new bearings in but I picked it up for 200 bucks there's an auction this Saturday and I plan to Hopefully, I don't know, find something I can use as a cedar, or at least something with meters, maybe an old John Deere Van Brunt drill, and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully have less than $1,000 in the whole project, do 15 foot at a time. I think it would be great to put an easy steer 500 on the 10. I've got the John Deere beacon, but that doesn't work uh, at all. I just put it up there for, well, to get a kick out of it and get the coffee shop talking. Um, but if I could run this with auto steer, and then come back and plant over the strip with my six row cyclo that would be just fantastic if i don't put the rye in a strip and plant beans i'm thinking i will use this to put radishes and peas in and then plant over where the radish and peas were as a bio strip till because uh, it'll fix some nitrogen and kind of alleviate some compaction so doing it nature's way trying to get away from the conventional till and all the chemicals even though i own an ag service business with my buddy and we do plenty of spraying so this is part one and i'll hopefully get a part two and three and whatever else out for you the bolts are being seven so instead of loosening them they're turning them to liquid we decided to take that and put it on the outside one so it won't mess with the duel at all but we'll still have the stability aspect of it 